Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, of course, I'm watching Undisputed and ESPN First Take today. And the entire basketball community is in shock. They don't know why in the world would Coach Cal leave a blue blood program like the Kentucky Wildcats to go to some smaller school in Arkansas. And I know they said dude Tyson or whatever, one of the billionaires is one of Cal's good friends and you know, Walmart and everything's in Arkansas, right? Because everybody, my people who, not, who ain't never been there, they think walk, Arkansas is poor, but no, nah, they be getting some money out there. Ask the Waltons. Honestly, I don't blame Cal. Yes, he, he hasn't been to, they've won, they've won one tournament game in three years. But come on, man, this man that brought you, what, 35 first-round picks in 15 years? What other school within the last 15 years got 35 first-round picks? You had Carl Anthony Towns, number one overall. Anthony Davis, number one overall. John Wall, number one overall. Uh, then you got plenty of all-stars. De'Aaron Fox, Devin Booker, Jamal Murray. I mean, I, I list can go on and on, right? And you finna have two lottery picks this year in Robert Dillingham and Reed Shepard, who everybody thought Reed was going to be a four-year player, three, four-year player. Honestly, man, Cal got stressed. He tired of it. He like, look, man, I mean, what else y'all want me to do? Go look at their wall and you see the Kentucky effect. All you see is those NBA players because of Coach Cal. You know, and he like, man, what, I mean, what else y'all want me to do? I mean, I know we didn't want a national title. We'd have been to what four different Final Fours, which is way more than most coaches have. And you know, he'd have been at a program like an Illinois or a, a Wisconsin or even like a Purdue. I know I'm saying Big Ten schools, but you can sub them out for a Wake Forest, any of these schools. He would have his name on the on the court by now. But because it's a Kentucky who they don't even put banners up for Sweet 16 or Final Four appearances. They feel like it ain't good enough, but who's going to replace Cal? You know? And Cal, like, look, man, forget all this. I know I know, I can make at least, what, 8 to $10 million more in Arkansas, and they would be, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, they would appreciate me just getting to a Final Four. And I get it, Arkansas won a national title 30 years ago, but... Come on, man. Could you, ima could you imagine if Arkansas went to the Final Four? But, you know, Kentucky, I hope y'all ready for what's next. I did see rumors of different coaches. I I highly doubt uh, uh, Hurley's going to leave. Coach Hurley's going to leave UConn and go to Kentucky. I could be wrong, but it's like, man, he... If he wins tonight, he'd have won two national titles. What were you going to Kentucky for? UConn got just as many NBA players. Uh, overall, you know, you got the Ray Allens and the Rip Hamiltons. and uh, Well, I'm going to say I'm making Okafor, but he didn't stay in the league too long. The Kimba Walkers, who beat John Cow. And John Cow said he could have recruited Kimba, but he thought Kimba was too small. Kimba went and cooked, that, cooked uh, Kentucky in that Final Four. So I mean I don't know I don't know what's next for Kentucky, but man, Big Blue Nation, y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to figure this out, man. You know you should you should have stayed with Cal. I honestly didn't think Cal would leave any other school, but he like man, y'all gotta get off my back. What else y'all want me to do? We got lottery picks every year. <laughs> I'm saying this is what Coach Cal's saying. So you know he tired, man. He like man, forget this. Let me go somewhere else. And it's wild that it's in the SEC. This man said, forget it, man. Like. If he left Arkansas to go to Kentucky, I would understand. But this man left Kentucky to go to Arkansas. That's how bad he uh, he got ran out of there. The man that bought you 35 first-round picks, and that ain't, that ain't good enough. In a national title. In several Final Four appearances. You know? Prior, prior to Coach Cal going there, getting there, how many national titles did Kentucky win? In the, I know they won back-to-back. -back. When, when Rick Pitino was there. But how many have they won since then? I'll wait. And I get it. That's just like when my team, uh, I'm going to go this way. 
Brad Underwood or the boosters in Illinois was getting mad because Brad Underwood was quote unquote unperforming. So he rumor came out he might take University of Texas job. He like, man, what's up? Y'all, I'm giving y'all NBA players. We, we selling out games. Like what? We, everybody don't win a national title. There are plenty of legendary head coaches who ain't won national title, or they won one national title. How many national titles coach is a one? Is it one? I think it's one. Y'all let me know in the, in the comment section, but I believe he won one national title. So it's not easy. But I do think that Cal's going to have success, and he going to make, not necessarily a blue blood, but he going to definitely make it to where it's going to be very interesting, you know, or enticing to go to uh, Arkansas. I know Eric Musselman had his recruiting class a couple years ago, which blew my mind, but I can definitely see Kyle taking it to a whole nother level. And everybody there going to have some type of Tyson's chicken endorsement, Walmart endorsement. By the way, did y'all see Florida, University of Florida, everybody got Dodge Chargers and stuff in the parking lot? Man, could you imagine we had that when we was coming up, y'all? Man, I... Oh, man. Whatever. But I don't want to get my quick rants about it. We're going to see what Kentucky does. We're going to see what how Coach Cal do. Let me know what y'all think.